on top, every day I get to, I get to share things, you know, in, in the social media, right? And what I've done is every month I, I, I have a different topic I focus on, right? In the month of August of every year, I share on communication, right? And um, last year, last year, not this year, I didn't do that this year. Last year I shared on writing, right? And I looked at, and I shared about everything about writing, you know, from different aspects. You know, and one thing that came out is the fact that when it comes to writing and, and as it comes also in communication as a whole, right? There's a science to communication and there's a heart to communication, right? And that affects a lot of things that we do, if not everything, right? There's always a science and there's a heart to it, right? And these two, science and art, also are, are affected by four aspects of our lives, which is our head, our heart, our hands and our gut, right? Two affected by four. How much of this four we use determines is determined by what we're doing, whether it's the science of communication or the heart of communication, right? When it comes to the science of communication, science of communication is not just simply talking about the rules, the boundaries, the, the, the preferred ways of doing communication, right? It's just talking about the guidelines right what what people have studied and says oh to do this you must do that to do this you must do that right one thing you need to always put at the back of your mind when it comes to rules is that rules were made by people right rules are different from laws and principles laws and principles are from god right they cannot be broken nobody writes laws and principles Laws and principles are observations, right? They are just seeing, seeing things that people have just seen. Oh, this is the way God created this universe and they wrote it down. Nobody writes laws and principles down. They are, they are found by observation. They are the observation of nature. You have seen, oh, this is the way nature works. Oh, oh. so we see that gravity. Archimedes just found that the happy was dropping down. Oh, that's how he found out about gravity. Right, he will talk about the law of gravity. He did not invent gravity, he found out gravity. Right, every law, every principle is foreordained by the creator who has, who has set everything in boundaries. We find who we'll find that them out and we we'll write them out so they cannot be broken, they are based on truths. Right, and no truths, no two truths are. are ever go against one another. All truths, capital A, capital L, capital L, are parallel. Truths never coincide with one another. They never disannul one another, right? Because for us as Christians, we know that truth is a person, and that person is Jesus Christ, right? So Jesus Christ is not in disagreement with himself, right? Jesus Christ is in agreement with himself. He is a whole person. He is the truth, the way, and the life. So all laws and principles are based on the truth. Who is Jesus Christ? And it doesn't matter where you find it, whether you find it in law, physics, chemistry, biology, uh, uh, philosophy, psychology, Islamic studies. If it is a truth, it is Jesus Christ. See, that's why I don't get myself limited when it comes to truth. If, it, if it's Buddha that, is, that has found that truth, if it's a truth, oh, then it's Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter that it wasn't a Christian that found it out, right? Because there's only one truth, and truth is a person. If it is a truth, oh, it is Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter who found it out or who is using it, whether it's Buddha, whether it is whoever. For as long as it is a truth, there's only one truth. His name is Jesus Christ. Truths never disagree. All truths are parallel. Laws and principles are based on truth, right? Now, I said all of this to say that rules, R-U-L-E-S, and laws are not the same thing, right? Rules are man-made, right? They are, they are things that people have found out are the ways of doing things based on experience. Rules are good for you if you're an amateur. Rules are made for amateurs. 
when you are not experienced in that field, you must follow the rules. But after you have now gained the experience, you know the rules. As a professional, you are truly not bound by the rules. A professional knows that there are some rules that you can disannul just to go to another level of performance, right? For as long as you don't break the laws, you can break the rules. They won't necessarily hurt you if you have done your own work. Any question? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? There's a difference between rules and laws.